Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Today, we are going to talk about how to buy Bitcoin. And really, the truth is, we're going to talk about how to buy a handful of different cryptocurrency, Bitcoin being one of about a dozen and a half, two dozen or so. We're going to look at how to set up an account on Coinbase and we're going to sh I'm going to show you that it's very simple to do. You'll be able to set up your account in about five steps. In fact, this is actually easier than opening up an online bank account. And most people have opened up a bank account. If they didn't do it online, they did it in person. And in person, it's actually even more difficult than opening up a Coinbase account. So this is really simple, but let's get into it. The, our, the theme of our channel is should I buy Bitcoin now or wait? We're going to give you ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses. Can we get this video to 99 likes? Smash that like button. It really helps us out. Now, I'm not a financial advisor and what you're hearing is not financial advice. This video is not financial advice. This video is my opinion. And if you are going to invest in cryptocurrency, definitely read this disclaimer carefully because before you invest, you want to understand the risks that you're taking. So let's talk a little bit about a Bitcoin investment strategy. So this is my opinion, but in my opinion, well, and, and I'm about to give you historical data, historical facts. You can ver verify this facts if you go to Yahoo Finance and look up BTC. Um, but there's lots of other websites, not just Yahoo Finance, that offers you uh, cryptocurrency data and historical information. And so the point of this is if you're going to invest in cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin, I would strongly recommend that you plan on purchasing it and holding it for at least three years. And here's the reason why. If you invest $1,000 into Bitcoin and then three years later sold it, how much money would you get back when you sold your Bitcoin? So if you bought the Bitcoin on January 1, 2017 and sold it on December 31st, 2019, you would have made, you would have gotten $7,206. So that $1,000 became $7,000. Now you can look at these other numbers. I'm not going to cover them today. Um, but you can see that the $7,000 I'm talking about here is not the most you would have made in just a three-year period. And so the, the reason why I'm showing you this is a lot of people are not patient enough to wait the full three years. And they lose money simply because when they see Bitcoin's price tanking, and it will tank. If you hold it for three years, you're going to see it tank quite a number of times over that three-year period. So they see the price of Bitcoin go down. They get scared. They sell it. They lose money. And if all they had done was done nothing, they just ignored it, and then three years later sold it, they would have seen a nice profit. So something to, to please keep this in mind. I... I I know a lot of people that want to try and day trade Bitcoin. I would strongly recommend that if you're even a seasoned trader, I would strongly, I know a lot of, of wealthy seasoned traders. I know one guy who owned a Bitcoin exchange and he has had a Bitcoin fund where they had written computer algorithms that got them that automatically sold and bought cryptocurrencies, not just Bitcoin, but a whole bunch of cryptocurrencies. But if you listen to him today, he's not doing any of that anymore. He's an expert in day trading and he no longer day trades crypto. Instead, he's bought it and he's holding it for the long term. So that tells me something. And what that tells me, in my opinion, I need to consider buying and holding longer term unless you have a really solid, uh, you know, something that's giving you an educated edge over the market. And if you don't have an educated edge of some sort, if all you're doing is going by your gut, then definitely buy and hold for three years. So anyway, enough of that. 
So on Coinbase, the way you get started is you simply open account with five steps. Before I get into the five steps, let me show you the Coinbase website. So here's Coinbase. You can get to it just simply by going to coinbase.com. Coinbase.com is what you would put into the URL. And when you look at it, you'll see here, they only show three coins, but if you look at all of their coins, uh, da, 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 I think we can get, oh, I would have to enter in my credentials to get there. Let's see if prices will give me. What I'm looking for is the list of cryptocurrencies that Coinbase has. There we go. So right now they have 21 different cryptocurrencies. And you can see it varies from Bitcoin to Ethereum, XRP, etc. So there's, there's actually a decent number of, of different cryptocurrencies. And if you decide that you're going to be trading in cryptocurrency, there's, there's, this is plenty to get you started with. And then once you've gotten your feet wet, maybe you want to dive deeper and you can start with start going to other things. Um, if you start investing, if you've gotten invested to the point where if you lost all your money, you wouldn't be able to sleep at night or you'd be up, wouldn't be able to forgive yourself. You'd be really upset if you've got that much money invested in into cryptocurrency. I strongly recommend that you get a hardware wallet and take all of your cryptocurrency off of an exchange. So if you had, uh, say, $500 worth of, of cryptocurrency on Coinbase and you feel like that that's at a point where you just don't want to risk losing it, then I would recommend you get a hardware wallet and withdraw those cryptocurrencies from Coinbase and put them into a hardware wallet. Now, that's not the subject of this video. This video, we're, we're just showing you how to get started with with Coinbase. And so Coinbase is one of the most reputable exchanges that I know of. It's it's regulated, it's insured, there's a whole lot of other stuff that we could go over. Um, but if you really want to get into the details, visit the Coinbase website and then you can get all the information from the website that you want by looking at some of these different links and stuff. Um, so that's enough of that. To get started, you'll go in and you'll set up an account. You would click on this Get Started link. And once you've clicked on the Get Started link, you're going to put in first name, last name, email. You'll pick a password and then you're going to put in the state or province that you live in. You need to certify that you're 18 years or older. And then you'll click the Create Account button. Once you've done that, they will send you an email and you will just go open up your email address, click the link in your email, um, and that will take you back to the Coinbase website and that verifies your email address. The next step is they're going to verify your phone number. So they'll send you a text message to a phone number that you put into your Coinbase account and you'll get the number out of that text message and put it into the Coinbase website in the screen that pops up, and that'll verify your phone number. The next step is you're gonna set up a payment method. So you might set up a Visa or MasterCard. You might set it up to your bank account and do direct withdrawals from your bank account, or you might set up a money tra wire transfer. So you can wire transfer money directly into your Coinbase account. So however you decide to fund your account, you'll set up that payment method. And then the last thing that you'll do is you'll buy Bitcoin or you'll buy an altcoin. And when you're purchasing whatever coin, it's extremely easy on Coinbase. You'll pick whatever coin you want, you'll click the trade button, and then you'll transfer the money from your coin. You'll, you'll see that in your Coinbase account, if you've set up if you've transferred money from your bank account or transferred money uh, by wire transfer, then you'll see an area where it tells you your cash balance and you'll just simply trade your cash balance for Bitcoin or whatever cryptocurrency you've chosen. Um, if you're using a Visa card, then it'll just directly uh, uh, apply a transaction on the Visa card and trade that for Bitcoin. And so it's very, very simple, very easy. So let me give you also a bonus in this video. Um, 
you can also make some free money from Coinbase. And Coinbase has two ways that you'll be able to do that. The first one is with an affiliate link. So in the comment description below, I have my affiliate link. And if you use my affiliate link, when you register on Coinbase, you're going to get $10 for using that affiliate link. And I will also get $10. So I just wanna give you a complete disclosure. Both of us get $10 when you use that affiliate link. Now Coinbase also has a section on its website called Coinbase Earn. And this is another reason why I recommend Coinbase to anybody who's new to cryptocurrency because on Coinbase Earn, you can actually watch videos that teach you what about the basics of cryptocurrency and you can earn up to $158 just by watching those videos. But to, in order to watch the videos, the first thing you have to do is you have to set up a Coinbase account. And then once you have that account, you can start earning money. Now, part of Coinbase Earn is there's ways to earn. So anyway, I'll let you go through that um, and and take advantage of that because, you know, earning $158 just for watching these. What happens, how Coinbase Earn works is you'll watch a two minute video and at the end of the two minute video they ask you basically a pick ABC question and as long as you get that question right you get two dollars and if you get the question wrong then it drops to one dollar and eventually if there's no more choices then it would be zero once you pick the thing so you want to listen to the video the questions are normally I, I've gone through all of the ones that are available to date and they're actually quite easy. If you're paying attention to the video, you should have no problem getting the question correct. And so that's kind of a little bit of bonus. You could make $168 right up front and actually fund your first $168 worth of crypto uh, from money that didn't come out of your pocket, that you just simply earned it by using my affiliate link and then going to Coinbase Earn and racking up the money that way. So how can I be of service to you? Do you have any questions? Do you have any comments? Do you have any thoughts? Is there something I should have gone more in depth into? Uh, let me know in the comment section on the YouTube channel below. In the meantime, I hope that you'll like, subscribe, and hodl. And hey, do me a favor. Have a fantastic day.